everyone. This is kind of going to be a different video than the ones I've been making in the past, or at least the past few videos that I've been doing, um, because I've been actually like playing the game instead of just building, but I'm kind of back to building, and I want to build a museum for the like family that I'm playing with. Um, the family that I've been playing with, I've been playing for like almost two years with because I was doing a decades challenge, but now I'm going to be continuing on with the family, but instead of doing a decades challenge, I'm just going to be playing like a regular legacy challenge and just continuing on the family, but um, I wanted to make a museum kind of to archive each person or each generation, so it's kind of what I'm doing right now. Just loading up my Twitch chat in case anyone wants to come in hang out, chat with me, you know. I don't think I've ever made a museum in The Sims before. I was kind of looking on the gallery. I thought maybe I would download in an already built museum and have like a shell. But then I was like, no, I kind of want to be adventurous, be bold and do it myself, make my own kind of museum. These museums are really, really great by the way on the gallery, but just want to have like a kind of crack at it myself. Um, I'm kind of going for something that's like this shape, like a traditional looking museum. Um, I think this part right here is really cool. I don't really, I don't really have like a floor plan or a, a, an idea in my mind. I'm building it on this 50 by 50 lot in Willow Creek. It's called Oakenstead. Um, it, it used to have a big mansion here, but I deleted the mansion and this is the lot that I'm going to be building on. I'm just going to throw down some shapes and see where we go, kind of what we want to do here for the museum. I want it to be pretty big because I imagine that I'm going to be doing the legacy challenge a lot. So let's have like two wings here. Make a copy, bip bopity boop it over here. Is this the same? Okay, we got four over here and three over here. So I'm gonna move this over one. And then I'll kind of put something in the middle here. I always like to have like an idea of what I'm kind of going for before I start building. That's kind of why I was looking at other museum builds. And yeah, the one that I liked was like this, where it kind of had like two wings and then a building in the middle or a room here in the middle. I just do. That's not what I meant to do. My bad. Copy it and then paste it up here. Just gonna do the same. Copy it. I think I'll just do three stories for now and then kind of see how we're doing on space. Again, this is going to be a very bi big build. So right now I'm just kind of working on the outside. I wanted to have quite a lot of pillars and big windows, be very like fancy looking. This isn't a very fancy family, but we can pretend. I might do something, I kind of want to try something with um, the roof, the roofs. Might have to putz around with this a little bit, but I'm going to try and make something like this. So basically this fourth floor here is going to be completely enclosed by the uh, by the roof. We got 
spot of two over here and a spot of four over here, so extend. out a bit. I'm doing the roof quite right. Oh, okay, I just need to go over here. Yeah, I'm not very good at roofing. But again, we can always try. Just go up to the top of the walls here. Is that clipping? It might be clipping. Shoot, don't clip, please. Better? Yeah, it's better. Okay. All right, I just need this to come over here. Why can't I move this? Don't really have a plan for what the roof will look like in the middle part here. Any kind of progressive hearing loss or persistent ear ringing, then you need to see this video. People from different parts of the globe are fixing their ear ringing just by following this simple morning routine. This new and revolutionary study shows that the real root cause of hearing problems has nothing to do with age or genetics. And the answer Oops, is I should have kept it the way I had it. My bad, my bad. Inside your own brain. And the best part, there's a simple morning routine that activates exactly that unattended connection. Watch this short and free special video that shows you how to follow this routine and start acting now against those air ringings, memory issues, or even mental fog. Patrick, 52 years old, said, I feel like I should extend each of these out by one. Is filled with frustration due to my progressive hearing loss and constant ear ringing. It affected my relationships and overall well-being. But thanks to this revolutionary approach, I've experienced a remarkable change. I can now enjoy noiseless days and cherish moments with my loved ones without struggling to hear them. Oh my god, this ad is so annoying. Sorry, I'm trying not to like, I don't know if I should be narrating what I'm doing or if that's like really boring, so I, I just kind of like shut up when I'm focusing on building. I like to like, I don't know, I, I'm still getting used to streaming where I'm supposed to be like talking the whole time. I guess you don't have to do that when you're streaming, but I don't know, for building it's like you can see what I'm doing. So I don't feel like I have to narrate, but I mean, that's why I have the music playing is for when I'm not talking, at least there's some noise going on. Okay, so this is what we're working with so far. And I'm going to add some pillars on the outside, but maybe I should figure out the window situation first. I want like big windows. And I don't usually use like the medium wall heights, but I'm gonna do it for these. So all of them are gonna be medium wall height. It's gonna be just a big, tall building. Hard to miss. Okay, what should we do for windows? 
I want to just kind of look like a nice classic museum. See, I don't even think those windows are big enough. Should also figure out the roof up here. And then these roofs I might put like fencing around, like the metal iron rod fencing. Like um this could work from Vampire Pack. Ooh, this. This is what I'm looking for. See, that just looks so cute up there. And then I don't know what to do for this roofing here. Mm. Just do something like this, I guess. Does the roof show through here? No, okay, good. Yeah, I don't know what the style of this museum is called. Um, like, I don't know what style of architecture this is. Should I put this whole, I should probably put this whole thing up on a platform. Or not a platform, a foundation. Oh, uh, maybe not that tall. Maybe one or two down. What I think would be cool is if we did like a a walkway up here using platforms. Something like... Oh, I don't know if I can do that, though. I'll probably end up changing these stairs, but I just want to put them in 
for right now. I really want to, I think the columns really tie it all together, so I want to put the columns in. I'm going for like a really nice Greek, Greek building columns. There's so many column choices in this game. Okay, there's either this one or this one. Not sure which one I want to use. I think I'm leaning towards the one on the left, so I'm going to delete this. We're going to take you. Oh, that's not good. Hmm. This is fine. It's totally fine. Yeah, I think it's really coming together with the columns. I kind of wish the columns were bigger though, like thicker. Nah, this will be fine. It'll be fine for, for right now. like a big door. Big nice fancy door. It's so, like this door just feels too small to me. That one's too like modern. These doors, they won't fit so yeah that's our Best bet there. The music is so loud. Alright, let's put these windows again. I don't hate how that's looking so far. What should I do for up here? to do for the tops here and I can't apply any roof texture on them 
Because they're not technically a roof up here, they're just a, like a flooring. So... Gotta think about that for a second. that I took down are gonna have to go back up. style of this, like Greek Revival or something, like Roman Revival, I can't remember what it's called. It's really pretty though, whatever it is, I really enjoy this style building. Keeps like showing up and then not staying long enough for me to click it. Okay, there we go. Let's see how it's going so far. Not bad, not bad. I think I might have to take this in. So it shows the spandrel a little bit more. Is that what these are called? Spandrels? Freezes. Freezes, that's what they're called. And then these ones go around the walls, right? Oh, I guess I could go around here too. I don't know how I feel about that necessarily. Okay, I'm gonna forego that because I don't really like how it looked. This also kind of looks like a high school too. Like it could be... Reminds me of high school. This building style. It's, it's the columns. Like the columns really do it, you know? Um... It's just with builds like these, I don't know what to do next. I want to figure out what to do with the roofs here. Would it look better if I put down some flooring up here? I just put down some concrete? I don't know how- like, I don't know what's supposed to go on top. For a while I thought maybe like a sunroof kind of thing, but it's... What if I delete the ceiling? And then... Um... something that came with um, get together where it's kind of like a flooring thing like windows and the 
the glass floor. Let me see. Packs. Get together. Something like this. This is like a dance floor though. Like you see what I mean? Like you can like we could put this all over the place. Although it's not gonna fit entirely. What if we do this and just have it go down like this? And it's not like anyone's gonna dance on these because they you know, they don't go or there's no way to get to the roof here. It's more so that I can like let light in from the top here. Ooh, that's also um no bueno. Or does this look absolutely stupid? It lets in really good light up here though. Like that's the thing. You know, it's something different and that's what we're going for. Have you lost Medicaid or chip? At healthcare.gov, four out of five customers can find the quality plan for $10 or less per month with financial help. Enroll in a plan today mm. at healthcare.gov. Paid for by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. So basically, each part of the each part of the museum is going to represent like a different generation, and each kid or whoever was in the family in the legacy. That's kind of the plan, at least. I'm gonna put more of these windows around. Just want a lot of light to get in. I think those top top floor needs to go up higher. Yeah, they do. It's like clipping through a little bit, but it's fine. It's not gonna bug me. So many windows all over the place. Am I going too overboard on the windows? Maybe should I only have them like, like not three, just two like this? That might be a better idea. Otherwise, I just feel like there's so many windows. I think that's better. Also, I kind of want it to be brick, maybe? Brown brick? I kind of want red. These are too bright. Here we go. This looks good.
It's coming together on the outside. That's kind of how it's looking so far. I don't really want to get into landscape quite yet. So let's take a look at all these columns. Oh my god. That's gonna be a little annoying, but that's fine. And how do I want the stairs to look? to be very grand. Have a nice grand staircase. I don't think there's gonna be like any like check-in desk out here or anything like that. Um, but I kind of want there to be like an this outdoor area. Kind of like a back porch out here. Maybe there'll be like some stuff to look at out here. I haven't really, again, haven't planned that far, but. make like 
we go. Wait a second, why is this like that? So then there's kind of like a way to, you know, get outside onto this, I'll make this like a little porch area. I guess, I don't know. <laughs> Wait a second. These windows not even. Oh my gosh, I just realized they're not. How did I get that so wrong? Oh my god.
I was wondering why it wasn't lining up. That's why. There we go. Now I think I got it. <sighs> Four in. I don't like that there's not windows right here, but I can't really do much about that right now. So I have to decide to put those grand staircases instead. See, so yeah, like, there's no windows here, but there, I don't know. It's It'll be fine. And then we have this, like, open part here that goes all three floors. through. That's fine. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're going to put on like another staircase in here to get up to the fourth floors here. I kind of want to do something special with this roof, where I'm going to create a copy of it. Put it there. Just putting that there so I don't lose it, and then I want to have my skylight moment. Oh shoot, what am I doing? Actually,
this is just one of those trust the process kind of moments here. What am I doing? Can you just... I feel like I'm not doing this how I am envisioning it to be done. Yeah, this is not at all what I had envisioned. But now I'm just exploring it. I wanted to put like a sunroof in, but now I'm kind of exploring this new idea of not doing the sunroof and doing something like this instead. Interesting roof shapes. I'm actually kind of mad at that. It's not what I wanted, but it's what I decided to choose. I don't think I'm going to be working on this for much longer tonight because it's actually kind of it's a lot. It's not going to be done for a while. But I think I have the ex exterior of the builds done. I'm just gonna add some steps out here. Not really focusing a whole lot on the back of it so far. I'm gonna kind of wait it out and see what I want to do with this. I have the exterior front done. I haven't done the sides yet. I've kind of worked on the back a little bit here. Hmm. Not totally in love with it yet. Again, I just I'm not used to building museums and it's kind of tricky the style I'm not used to building with. It's very symmetrical, which at least kind of helps, but I think the symmetry is also kind of throwing me, and I'm not really too sure about these sunroof thing. Like, I, when I look at the inside here, I really like how this looks, with the, with the light coming through there. Ooh, especially in this daylight. I should have been working in this light the whole time. It's... I don't know. Um... Yeah, let me know what you think, I guess, because, um, is it too many windows? Should I have less windows? I really like the windows on the columns, and now that I actually look at it, I really like this, how this roof is going here. 
Another thought I had for this was to take these out? What was I planning? Oh, and doing like where I extend this to out here. Oh, you know what? I actually do kind of like that. Let's, before I like take off for the night, let me just kind of explore this option. Target circle, every target run is a chance to earn. Use the target app to shop and automatically earn 1% rewards on non-red card purchases to redeem on future target runs. Learn how to earn and save more with target circle. And just kind of exploring how to make it look more interesting, because right now it's not exactly what I'm thinking I want. windows might be too big. Oh, that's because we're using the short wall height. Let's give it the medium wall height. Should I maybe be using like different windows here? Like, is it too much of this type of window? That's what I want to know. But I think putting a different window there would be weird. I'm kind of I'm kind of vibing with that, I guess. I'll put more windows back here later, but this is kinda of what I got going on. I kinda of do like the addition of this going on. Really interesting, but I'm wondering if this is incorrect on top of here. Hmm. I don't know. I guess let me know what you guys think, and I'm gonna take off the night. Bye!